Welcome, my name is Andrzej Pach and together with you I'll prepare two different variations of transitions for your videos. Each transition will teach you something different in After Effects, it will be really a lot of fun, so let's head into After Effects and start working right away. Let's start our work by creating a new composition. Hit the new composition button and create a full HD composition, 30 frame rate and in the duration please press 5 and a dot. This will be 5 seconds. This should be enough for our editing and we can always shorten this composition later. I want this transition fly from this corner towards this corner. So I'll create a rectangle. Let's start with the rectangle and make the rectangle to about this size. It should be longer here on the left and right side because we will rotate it. Once you create a rectangle like this and select a proper color for it, for example, I'll go with something greenish here with a mint color like this, a bright mint, okay. I will click on the shape layer and I press R. By having the rotation open, I select negative 45 degrees because I want to have it like that. I click on the selection tool. You can also access this by pressing V on your keyboard and I select this rectangle and place it here in the right bottom corner. I try to make it exactly in the middle and we are ready to edit it. In this case, we will work with the scale and since the entire layer has its anchor point set here and I want to use the anchor point in the middle, I'll not use the layer, I'll use the actual object. So go inside the shape layer, open up contents and inside the contents you will have the rectangle one you created. See, this is the rectangle within this layer. I open the rectangle, I open the rectangle pad and I'll work with the size. I don't want this size to be linked because I'll work only with the second size. So unlink this size and we will work with this one. We will start with an amount of zero. We will place a keyframe here. We will go about 10 frames forward. Please look here on the left side how far you have gone. I have gone 10 frames forward and at 10 frames I want it to be more than 180. It, before it was 180, I want it to be 200 or I see this is a small gap. Let's maybe make 220 and going even further like to 15 frames or to 14 frames. This will be okay. I go back to 180 so this corner here is covered. Now let's preview this animation. It grows bigger and then it gets a tiny bit smaller. Okay, we are nearly done. Let's right click, keyframe assistant, easy is this animation and let's preview it. Perfect. At this keyframe, which is the final form of this animation, I want the entire screen to be filled up. How do I do this? I close everything. I select the shape layer and I press Ctrl D and by having the move tool selected, I fill out the space. Ctrl D, fill out the space, Ctrl D and I want you to fill out the same exact way the entire screen. One here, one here, one here. And now, as you can see, depending on how big are those, those objects, that quick you can be done. Okay, last one. Still not enough, but that's no problem. I want to cover the corner and this is our finalized animation. This is how it can look like, but you can also take all the layers and stagger them. How I do this, I press Ctrl A to select all layers. Then I select the left control or command key if you're on the Mac to deselect this and I'll use my page up and page down key. Normally page up, page down goes on the timeline. But if I hit the Alt key and press page down, one, two. Ctrl deselect, one, two. One, two. One, two. What I'm doing now is called staggering. And this is how the animation can look like. We have a steady motion across it. Okay, the finishing touches would be selecting everything, right click, pre-compose, 45 deg degrees edit. This is how I call this animation. Ctrl D to duplicate, place it forward and in the mode options select silhouette alpha. So at first the animation appears and then the animation reveals itself with itself. This is a finalized animation. Make it closer until it disappears. The animation ends at about 2 seconds and 10 frames.
Let's start to create the second transition. In the second transition, we'll work with polygons, so I'll name this composition Polygon Animation or Polygon Transition. HD, 30 frames, 3 seconds of duration will be completely enough. And let us start the work. Go to the toolbox and this time let's select a polygon tool. I'll select my polygon tool, I'll even open my title action save box and I'll try to create a polygon in the middle. I'll hold the shift key and make it to about maybe this size because we will duplicate this object like five times and each one of them will be bigger. Okay, I will take this shape layer, I press V on my keyboard to pick the selection tool and I'll move it a little bit towards the bottom because from the shape of it, it covers a bit more here on the top side. I will take this object and duplicate it five times. So I have a total of six objects. Shape layer one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now I'll select Control or Command A to select all of them and press S to open up scale. And just like that, I can manipulate the scale. Let's make it maybe 200. I see that's a bit too big. Maybe the first one should be smaller, like to this size. This will be 140, maybe 220. It will be like 300. 380, okay, I'm upping it by 80 right now. And this one, maybe make it 450. Okay, that's fairly big, but I see they are too small, so I need to change those values. Let me start maybe with the last. The last needs to cover up the entire screen. Okay, like that. And then you can manipulate with the rest of them to make them each one a bit smaller. If you have those values about right and they cover the entire screen, select all of them, press Shift and press R because I also want the rotation to be happening. I'll go to 25 frames and I'll enable all keyframes because this is my end position. But at the beginning, all the scales should be 0% because I want those objects to grow on my screen. Also, I want a little rotation to happen, so I'll make the rotation like 80 or 100 degrees. I'll make 80 here. Please do the same. Select those values and just write 80 degrees and hit enter. This will be a big part of this animation. You see they are all rotating, they are coming in the screen and they are covering the screen. Of course we need to change the colors before we proceed so we see it better and I'll do this right now. I have some color scheme selected, so select each shape, click on fill and select a different color for them. I'll be right back with you. Ok, I have my colors selected and I see I have a little mistake because the first one should be at the top because it's the smallest one. So let me quickly change those here. Ok, now they are in a proper order. These are my colors and the animation looks like that. We are nearly done, we have one more keyframe to work with. Select everything and press P. I'll go a bit forward, for example to 1 second and 10 frames and I'll select a keyframe here. Then I'll scroll out the screen, I'll go forward to about this place and I want the position to be under the screen. I'll hold the shift key because normally it's too slow. If you hold the shift key, the values are getting quicker and maybe the first one not so much, the second one also not so much, the third, the fourth, the fifth. Okay, th this big one can stay down here. Okay, this should be all right. 5 and 6 are wrongly set. This would be the animation I have until now. Well, a bit too simple. So please select all those position keyframes because I want this animation to happen very swift, to be boom, and they should be down. So for this, you need to go into the graph editor. The graph editor, now the first thing I want to do to make it easier, let's make it keyframe assistant easy ease. Now I will see this better, okay. These are all the position keyframes and I'll select all the keyframes, I'll pull this left handle here and the right handle here. What will happen with the animation? The animation, the position, the position value will go slow, boom it will go very quick so it will disappear and then again very quick but we won't see the second quick. So let me show you. You see this animation now happens much much quicker. Let's preview this. 
Boom. Perhaps we should also work with the first keyframes. I'll press U on my keyboard to preview what's happening here. And I could also select all those keyframes. Keyframe assistant, easy ease them and do some magic if I wanted to. Let's say I'll make also a quick adjustment just so the motion isn't so boring. I'll nudge it to the left. What will happen? All those values will happen a bit quicker at the beginning and then they'll stagger a little bit. Okay, the last step, the really very last step you want to take is to stagger those layers. Control A to select everything. Deselect the last one, press left alt and page down. One, two, three, maybe three frames. Or three frames are too big, two frames. Two frames, two frames, two frames, and two frames. Okay, this is the finished animation we have. Swift little motion you can use in your videos. Let me switch the last background color to be more consistent and this is how you can approach such transitions for your videos.